Hello students, I am Jamin Pandya. In this lecture, we will discuss about the chapter number 1 which is a basic chemical industry data. Before start the chapter, it is necessary to understand meaning of unit process. In chemical industry, the unit process and unit uh, operation are occurs. So what do you mean by the unit process? There are various unit process are uh, occurs in chemical industry such as the alkylation, halogenation, chlorination, right? reduction, oxidation. So unit process are process in which chemical change of substance are going to occur. And second one which is the unit operation. Right. So, what do you mean by the unit operation? Unit operation which are mostly uh, occurs with the physical change or phase change in which mostly considered as a liquid liquid extraction, leaching, crystallization, distillation, size reduction. So, these all are example of the unit operation. Right. Now, let us start the chapter number 1 which is a basic chemical industrial data. The chemical industry is one of the most important industry in manufacturing with its product being critical to wide range of end use application. It is a central to the world economy gives the role of converting raw material such as oil, natural gas, ma uh, metals, minerals into the product which are extensively used in all facts of daily life such as agriculture chemical, food and beverage, health, personal care, automotive, electronics and water. The chemical industry plays an important role in economic development of any country and quality of life enjoyed by its people. The globally chemical market was established to be around USD dollar of 4.0 trillion. Right? So the, so, the global chemical market was estimated around 4.0 trillion do USD dollars in 2019. Commodity chemical make up with the 80% and specialty chemical which make up with the 20%. So, what is meaning of the commodity chemicals? Commodity chemicals which means a com uh, chemical which uh, produce or manufacture on bulk level and specialty chemical which is uh, specially used in the research and uh, development and innovation uh, involved right so it's uh, only depend on research and development and various innovation which are the 20 percent which known as a specialty chemical so there will be a two types of market one is a commodity chemical market and second which is a uh, specialty chemical market commodity chemical market which also known as a bulk chemical right because it's produced on bulk level large level right where uh, specialty chemical market which is a 20 percent which is mostly used in extensive product and extensive research and development and in a, uh, innovation which often get transferred into the better margin and better profit in compared to the bulk chemical right so there are mainly two types of chemical we are going to consider in global market such as the bulk chemical market and special chemical market globally specialty chemical grow at 5.7 cagr over the last 5 year right so the 5.7% cagr of specialty chemical in last 5 years reaching to the 805 billion dollar or USD billion dollar right in 2019 from the 2040 right so it's increase in CAGR of 5.7 percent from 610 USD billion dollar to 805 USD dollar and it is expected to increase again 6.4 percent of CAGR with the 1.171 USD billion dollars expected in 2025. Right? The past couple of decades 
have seen significant shift in manufacturing of chemicals from the European country and North American country to the Asia, particularly in specialty chemical space. The specialty chemical industry is estimated to grow faster in emerging market such as India and China. So, there are mainly 12% of agrochemical are produced, 9% which is uh, food additives and uh, construction chemical, 8% of electronic chemicals and water and chemical which on 6% Polymer additive, which is also a 6% in global chemical, dyes and pigment, which is a 5%, neutra ingredient and uh, F and F ingredient surfactant, which are lies in 5%, right? And other chemical, which are 30%, right? So, large part which is covered by the agro chemicals and other chemicals. So, this is the about the global data of chemical industry. Now, let us discuss about the Indian chemical industrial data. Chemical industry which stood at 180 USD billion dollars in 2015, which increased by 11.7 percent CAGR by 2019 with market capture of 320 USD billion dollar, right? If you are going to compare this percentage with the global level, then it was 5.7 percent, right? Now, it is expected to by the 2025, this 320 USD billion dollar is increased to 640 USD billion dollar with CAGR of 12.4 percent which is also a larger CAGR compared to the global CAGR, right? So, Indian chemical market or can say that Indian specialty chemical market largely depend on specialty chemical or Indian chemical market are largely depend on specialty chemical. India is a net exporter of specialty chemical where India is largely importer of bulk chemical or can say that commodity chemical, right? So, the in this specialty chemical, 29 percent is a agrochemical, 22 percent is a dyes and uh, pigment, 4 percent FNF, pregnant and uh, functional ingredient, surfactant which is uh, at 6 percent, then F and at base industry which at 7 percent, textile industry which at 6 percent, polymer industry and uh, construction industry at 4 percent, then personal care ingredient, neutra uh, functional ingredient and water are at 3 percent and other chemical which are depend on 8 percent. The specialty chemical classify as an organized player and unorganized player. So, there will be 70 percent of unorganized players dominate the specialty chemical industry, where 30 percent only players which are dominating or which are participate in specialty chemical. So, largely part of unorganized players which are dominate the specialty chemical, right? So, specialty chemical which are known as the which mostly used in research and development and for the invention uh, product, right? Indian chemical industry which stood at 180 or can say that 180 USD billion dollar in 2015 which increased at CAGR of 11.7 percent with 320 USD dollar by 2019. Here we can see that the CAGR of 11.7 percent, right? In a global level, CAGR was at 5.7 percent. So, India is increased a large level compared to the global level, right? Now, it is expected 
this Indian chemical specialty chemical industry is going to increase CAGR with 12.4 percent with market of 640 USD dollar by the 2025, which is a also larger CAGR compared to the global level. Right? In global level, uh, chemical market will going to uh, increase by 6.4 percent CAGR. If you are going to compare with the Indian chemical market, it will be a 12.4 percent CAGR. Right? So the Indian chemical market largely depend on specialty chemical, and Indian chemical market is largely net exporter of the specialty chemical and importer of the uh, bulk chemical or commodity market. India chem specialty chemical industry is a quite fragmented with most sub segment having only a handful of scale up player. Mostly, UPL is the only domestic specialty chemical manufacturing have a revenue of more than one USD billion dollar and global manufacturing network. Scale of operation is a critical and differentiating factor across the sub segment, as that help us in gaining large share of customer wallet while it's helping to generate economics of the scale. Customer across the global expect their supplier with either to the complaint or can say that uh, either to a compliance norms which is uh, ac uh, acceptable across the global level which serve as a significant entry barrier for the scale up company in industry right so that's why india is a larger exporter of the specialty chemical Speciality chemical characterized by the presence of large unorganized market which sub segment such as base ingredient is estimated to a larger than organized market. But it is difficult to quantify that unorganized market. The unorganized player largely cater to a smaller and unorganized customer in the respective end user segment. For instance, the flavor and fragrance industry, which is an unorganized player, largely catered to the tobacco and um, incense stick market, where in surfactant, this player depend to a local unbranded shop. So this is all about the today's lecture. In this lecture, we have discussed about the basic chemical industrial data at worldwide and at Indian chemical data. Right. So, this is all about the today's lecture. I am completing my lecture here. Thank you.